Today we're down here in South Arkansas on a logging job. It's a uh, first inning. Uh, one of the crews out is doing a first inning. As you can tell, it's a little damp. And this time of year, weather has a big issue with everything. Uh, we had uh, about 14 inches of snow about two weeks ago. So ground is hard to find. And right now our crews are looking for good ground and maybe a lot of first innings going on instead of log stands. But here on this job, we're doing a first inning, uh, trying to get it into uh, chipping saw and to uh, small logs and trying to increase the growth on our stand some timber. This time of year is very, very hard to find, but of course, with hundreds of thousands of acres, we are able to find it and to keep our logging crews busy and to keep our mills uh, functioning and keeping the employment with the mills going. And that's all very crucial for the forest industry. Now our log mills, they've increased their prices quite a bit. And each mill is competing against each other right now. So that has really drove the price of the timber up some. Uh, now we have record prices in lumber. We had in November. Now they're still very high, very, and you can look, it's $1,000 a thousand, it's very high. And it really hasn't translated back down to the landowner until the last month. In the last month, we've seen an increase in stumpage prices for private landowners and for our industrial landowners. Now the biggest thing, and it's in our legislature today, is our business school of forestry at UAM that we're trying to get a, we're trying to get that funded. Uh, they've okayed, I think, the, the concept of it, but we need funding for it. And that funding is very crucial. We are third or fourth largest producer in, in, the, in the South on pine lumber or pine trees. But we are badly, and I'm talking about tremendously, at a disadvantage because the other states, so they have a business school. They have economists and different ones working on getting in all the data that these people that own the mills are building the mills. They call today, they want to know how many tons, excess tons we're growing. Well, we're growing 20, 20 million excess tons a year right now. So we could cut 25 to 30 million tons right now a year, which creates economic benefits for the, for the landowners. It creates economic benefit for your industry. You can have more loggers. But we need to get this funded where we can get a business school and we can have all this data on hand. When that, when that meal comes in and says, I need this data, we need to be able to hand it to them. And, and get new industry in. Without new industry, we're going to be suppressed. And we got to get meals in. And it's an economic and uh, GDP boost for the state. The more meals we have come in, is better for the state, more, more employment, more loggers, more everything. And the GDP would increase tremendously on, on uh, having more industry in. It's supply and demand. 